Welcome everybody, this is Staff Sergeant Amaya from the Fajardo Rangers and I want to share with you today uh, how to choose a career. So uh, I want to share my story which was about 10 years ago. 10 years ago uh, I decided I wanted to join the Army. I joined the Army uh, right around 19 years old. Uh, at the time, I didn't know that I wanted to make the Army a career and uh, most of my friends at that time went, decided that they were going to go to college. And uh, college uh, was a very good choice for a lot of them. I have some friends that went, became nurses, and I have other friends who went for things such as photography. Uh, so a lot of people decided to go a lot of different routes uh, in life and my way was I wanted to join the army but uh, as people started to get a little bit older right around 23 24 within my life I started to see how the decisions they made at 17 18 19 really started to impact so for example some of my friends that became nurses started to make really good money and at the time I was just a private uh, it was private Amaya, so my income was not as great as some of these people who went to college. And uh, and some other people who decided to get degrees that uh, didn't hold too much weight uh, started to struggle, which is okay. But, uh, but for me, you know, I was just starting a career. So a big thing people don't know is that there's a huge difference between a career uh, and a job. It's, and looking for jobs, a lot of them ended up in and jobs and me without knowing I ended up joining having a career which in my opinion is a lot different uh, a career might start uh, you might start doing uh, something like me mechanics because it was just my interest at the time but eventually I was able to go to college I was able to get education I was able to increase my ASVAB score and I was able to change my job I was able to get promoted to sergeant so there's a big difference between the job, right? A lot of my friends went in, became a nurse, for example, started making 60,000, almost the double what I made. Uh, but, and there's a difference between that and a career. So as I progressed in the army, I started to make more money. I started to get better opportunities. And now 10 years later, that now that we're in our thirties, a lot of my friends who, who got the job they wanted uh, realized that they picked the job and many times picking that job uh, puts certain limits on, on the amount of income they make and how far they can go up unless you know they have a master's degree or, or are able to climb to climb the ladder so the army for me has been a career which is so such a big thing in my life and it's allowed me to increase my income to past 60,000 has a lot of others so I don't want to go into how much I make but let's just say I make a good amount of money I have some really good benefits and I'm about halfway through my career and the the benefits and everything that I've gotten from the army uh, the discipline it's been a career and I have 10 more years left in the army and it can only get better from here I can only progress and go so much further so as you go to college some of the things you got to ask yourself are is this, a, is this a, after I'm done, what company am I gonna work for? Are they gonna employ me? How much am I gonna make? And and can I make it a career? Because I, I feel like many people go to college today, uh, but they don't have a plan afterward. And, and sometimes it takes someone like me just asking a question like, hey, what, do you, what company you wanna work for? Where you wanna work for? And can you make that degree that you got you get that job also and make combine everything to make this thing a career because otherwise in my experience I've seen a lot of people get stuck getting a job and, and they can't progress in life and that's a big that's a big thing and, and uh, if you're interested about the army the army you can make it a, make it a career or you could decide after the after you do your three or four years and, and your contract expires you could decide uh, not to keep going and maybe explore a different area. So it's not something that you have to do uh, for the rest of your life or for 10 years like I have. Like you can explore to see if the army is something that you will like. 
and then you know leave and, and try out different things if you don't like it or if you like it we'll try to make it our career well that sums it uh, that sums everything about up you know my these are all my opinions and what i think and i want to share this with everyone so so you can get an idea uh maybe a different perspective so if you like this video uh please give me a like send me a message and and send me a message if you want more information about the army so thank you guys very much